Uh, guys, Zeph here. Welcome back to Spellbound Caves, and welcome to episode 26. Decided I should probably record the record this. I uh, I wanted to make a mob farm, and well, it's got skeleton spawner and zombie spawner, and this may turn out very very poorly. So it could be interesting. And knock that down. Knock that down. Okay. And gotta get all these. Well, that's fast. Ah. Wish I didn't. <laughs> Hopefully, no skeleton or zombies spawn that have bows, at least. These skeletons are going to be the uh, real pain in the butt. As well as, well, getting back. What did I say? What did I just say about bows? Okay. Alright. <sighs> well, let's get the lighters back. <laughs> There we go. This is definitely not going to be the best part. <laughs> this is going to suck. Okay. Torches are gone. That one. That one. That one that right there come on now <sighs> stop <laughs> just die it's okay you can die But anyways, this is going to be a nice spawner because we should be able to get all of our experience that we need just with this. I also put in a little enchanting setup back here. It's uh, pretty basic, but it works. And it's got the selecting sticky pistons back there, or just selecting pistons. It's the same setup that I have back at our main base. Now, as you can probably tell, this is not a fall trap or anything too fancy like that. This is basically just a stand at it and swing at it with <laughs> clubs and <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. But experience is still the same, so it's all good. It's also not overly efficient in any way, shape, or form, but, yeah, and this is really, really basic, it's just got hoppers and hopper ducks that go into the chest, but anyways, I am going to grind to level 30, and then I shall pull you guys back, and we shall enchant. Well, first things first, let's get that pick. I have... No idea what the actual chance is for me to get fortune, but crush your fingers, guys. <clears throat> Unbreaking. <sighs> All right, and here goes the sword. Wish me luck, guys. Cross your fingers. Oh, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Knock back two. When breaking three and knock back two are my diamond enchanted tools. FML guys. MF <laughs> wow. Um so I just uh just dropped a level thirty on one of the pretty good stone swords that we got. And this dropped. <laughs> wow. 
that is actually a decent sword. Bane of Arthropods, but everything else is amazing on it. And hey, we've been having an issue with those dang little spiders, so I'm going to call this one good. Just wanted to do a little bit more work on the mob grinder, mainly at the storage aspect. And seeing as I have to get in there a little bit, figured I might as well bring you guys along. Been trying to uh trying to remember to record the random little bits more because I was thinking you know, I think I said this a couple episodes or last episode. But a lot of the YouTubers that I personally enjoy, I enjoy for their personality. And, I mean, I honestly feel like I don't have that strong of a personality, but, no. Uh, someone else might actually really like my personality and really wish I did more normal talking kind of stuff. So I figured, you know, I might as well, you know, might as well record. Plus, eh, this could get interesting at some point. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the enemies to figure out where I am and yeah. Although I'm not, um, I think if I knock that out I'll be ambushed and I know I've got to, or I know I want to tag that wall out. Need to get a little bit farther on this. Yeah. There goes that. <laughs> Kid, it's there. Come on. Let's get back there. And. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, what these are, in case you have not played with better storage before, these are crates. And essentially, what they do is. They are huge inventories, but every time you open them, they show a different arrangement of things, and they're amazing for things like bones or, you know, arrows and just random things. And it's a really nice and easier way to store very large bulk item stuff. Okay, I need to get in there. <laughs> this may very well not be so much fun. Um, can I actually... Okay, so they are connecting here now. And basically they're multi-blocks, which means... The more... Crates I put together... The more storage I get per... Or in total. There we go. <laughs> and I kind of like... I really like having them as a option for storage because they're really... I don't know, they're really convenient and I need to close this up as quick as I can. Okay. I'm gonna need to break that. Okay, here... Nope. Um, let's... Toss a crate in there anyway. Okay, are we good? We good yet? No, those are... These are not connecting. Those connect down there. Guess I have to go... <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Guess I have to go um, bottom to top. A little afraid that I'm gonna wash away my torches and stuff like that too. Or my lava, dang it. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> Come on. Are you even getting at it? Okay. Do I have any micro blocks? I do not. Um. Well, let's make some micro blocks real quick then. Okay. 
Sorry about that. I, uh... It's so annoying because I... I know I'm not sick. And I know, you know, I'm not infectious or, you know, and I feel fine. There's none of that sickness feeling. It's just, I cough. It's the most annoying thing in the world. And, you know, it really doesn't really help with the whole uh, recording thing, too. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Trash can's gone again. <laughs> uh. Now, next thing I want to make here is going to be... Hey, now. Okay, there we go. Huh. Actually, no, I can stop that from... Yeah, if I just do this, I can... Make sure I don't lose my lava again. And I want that to look a little bit better. There. There. Perfect. Now I can off camera run back, get some lava, and we'll be all good there. Um, what I think I'm gonna do with this actually is I'm going to cover it up with plates and covers and stuff like that, and, hmm, I also want to have lockers for other items, but I'm not entirely sure how I want to attach those quite yet, so I can have the bones and arrows and things along those lines off to a side or something. Um, can I come back here? I've got three attachments. I want bones, arrows, and rotten flesh are going to be my main three, right? Yeah, those will be the main, the major three drops that I'll be able to get. Okay. So I will, I'm going to run home and I shall be back and we will finish this construction together. There, get my little trash bin back. And I've got my... the Lockers. <laughs> wow. Alright. So, what we want to do with these is I'm going to have them along this side. Oh, that's no good. Um... That's no good at all. Huh. Well, that's a slight wrench in my plan. Hmm. How can we do this and have it look good? I could have... It's kind of a boring option. What's down there? Down there is actually completely... Completely safe and good to go. You know what, I'm just gonna go with the boring option. <laughs> We have our lockers. Wait, no, I need a chest. Don't know. Hmm. Can I go one further back? I can. Alright, so we go like that. Uh, I need to have these the same, <laughs> facing the same way. Ugh. Not OCD, but definitely bothers me a little bit. Um, that's actually one thing that, I mean, I I don't get too angry about, but I do wish uh, more people actually knew the difference between OCD and just being, you know, a little anal retentive and yeah. Because <laughs> there is a huge difference. Typically when someone says they're OCD, when it relates to Minecraft, they are really just, you know, a little bit of a perfectionist or easily annoyed or you know something along those lines. I'm actually gonna have something else going with there with that. Not that I won't get enough bones, but you know I might as well. Feathers I guess. Uh, 
And the last one, this is Rotten Flesh. Alright, I'll good there. But anyways, what I was saying basically, uh, a lot of people will say, you know, lol, I'm OCD when they, you know, have to have a symmetric building or, you know, something like that. And no, that's not, not actually what real OCD is. And real OCD is actually a fairly terrible thing. It's not something you can control, and I'm, I'm glad that I don't have it, but, you know, it's not something that the person who has it can control. But it is, yeah, fairly, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a really bad, bad condition to have. I've known a few people, um, it's mostly things like, there'll be some thing you have to make sure goes this this right way or you know something along those lines I'm not explaining it right at all um, but basically it's uh, yeah mental health is honestly not a joke and it's kinda annoying because here in the United States people don't really understand you know, you say that, or whenever I've heard someone say that they are, you know, they have depression or, you know, anything like that, people always say, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm a little depressed too. And there's a difference between having depression and being depressed. Being depressed, anyone can be. And really, having depression, anyone can have, too. But the actual, true mental illness known as depression is pretty, pretty horrific. I've actually wrote a paper in college on it, and yeah, I had to do quite a bit of research, and it's. It's a lot bigger of an issue than people like to think. For instance, I mean, if you live in the United States, you probably know that gun control's a pretty hot topic for the most part. And even if you're not in the United States, you probably know that it is occasionally brought up in the media, for our media anyway. Because, well, you know, we kind of force our media on everyone else. Um, at least that's what it feels like as uh, American, or United States, I guess I should say. Because that's another thing that a lot of people, you know, I don't begrudge them it, because I know I make a mistake too, but I mean, technically the United States, United States citizens are Americans, but so are Mexicans and, you know, because the Americas are just yeah, and American technically relates to anyone from North or South America, so Canadians and everyone, basically. Anyways, random tangent. <laughs> Where was I even? Um, oh, but depression, well, one of the stats that I heard was basically the amount of suicides double is double that of the amount of homicides so it's you know twice as many people kill themselves as kill other people and i'm not entirely sure exactly how they got that but it was from the i want to say is the CDC which is the uh, primary primary organization for pretty much every health concern in the United States. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a little weird, I think, anyway. But, yeah. But, anyways. I am going to move on from that topic. <laughs> it's it's fairly depressing. And we also have this finished. And oh yeah, I looked in here because I wanted to show you guys that I had a Smite 4 book. I'm planning on actually wait a sec. This is lowered. What happened? Um... Pardon me? Okay... Let's take a look up here... <sighs> yeah, I guess the um... What I wanted to say with the whole mental health thing is just uh if you don't understand something it's best not to assume you can really understand it oh i mean don't mean don't mean don't try to but you know if your friend says oh well, yeah i've been feeling depressed or my, your friend says, I think I have depression. Listen, because they might, and it's better to listen than to not. And a lot of people don't know how to react to, you know, to hearing that kind of thing. But it is still one of the scariest things, and, you know, one of the things you really you really need to pay attention to. There's a lot of warning signs, like, you know, there's a lot of things that you don't have to care about. <laughs> a lot of illnesses, things like that, that, yeah, they could go wrong, but, you know, they might not. But, yeah. I can honestly say I think mental illnesses are one of my personal, uh, personal goals in life to try and spread awareness and stuff like that. I don't know. But anyways, I am going to do a bit more farming. I'll uh, bring you guys back in in a little bit. Before I head off for today's episode, I wanted to make one more major thing. Well, two more major things actually. The first is going to be this diamond saw. It lasts a lot longer than the stone saw here, and also can cut this obsidian. obsidian. I also want my chisel right there. Okay. I'm hoping that when obsidian's chiseled and cut down, it's still fairly blast resistant. The moss, stone, and cobble that I had there I was being blown up by pretty much any explosive skeleton, so it's uh, not so much fun. Now we got actually kind of kicking myself for using this sword for farming, because I actually got some halfway decent enchants that I could have put, put on it, including a smite 4, which would have been fairly strong on it, but, well, hindsight's 2020 and I can always make another diamond sword. Okay, so first thing that I wanted to do is to put in another locker. I'm gonna go right there, this locker, gonna come down one more I think, that should be good, knock that out those. Okay. I right, should be good with that. Oh 
What even? Okay. And basically, I'm just sorting the potions out. I don't have to. I mean, I've got <laughs> more than enough space with this chest above me. Not chest. Um, crate. Massive crate. But it just... It feels nice to do it. I guess. I think that's four. I always get a little confused with Roman numerals. Because they don't necessarily follow exactly how you'd expect. I mean, I have, you know, learned how to use them as best as I'm able to. But... Yeah, they just get me a little confused sometimes. Okay, so that one's good. Basically, um, yeah, I've used these on camera. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I've shown loading them up with their actual filters or not. But, yeah, that's... This is basically how it's done. <laughs> you just put them into the bottom slot for your filter down here and for anything else. Well, for things that are actually getting pulled out, you just, you know, they go in there. Okay. Um. There we go, there's X or 10. Okay, last one. Before we have to bother connecting stuff up, anyway. And again, I don't have to actually put them in order or anything like that. This is just, you know, a uh, thing that I really, I don't, I don't need to do, but <laughs> I kind of enjoy doing just an organizational thing. Anyways, let's pop that out. Uh, that's... yeah. Okay, are we gonna be good here? We are. Well, cool. That worked perfectly. Um, what else do we have? Oh, right, we have... Do I have a cover plate for that? Not yet. Let's use the stone saw for this. Because I mean, there's no point in using anything higher than stone on stone. Put this into the hollow configuration. Change one of them back. There you go. And there. And change the rest of my back, I think. Let's toss that there. 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 Yeah, this is just detail work. Don't really need to show that on camera, but... Eh. You know, maybe someone will enjoy it. Probably not, but, you know, you never know. Okay, are there any good looks for Obsidian in here? Well, I don't... I'm not a huge fan of any of these, really. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just gonna keep it normal. And I think... I'm hoping two pieces of Obsidian are all we need to cover this all. And I really hope this doesn't get blown up quite as easily as the stone stuff. Yeah, this is gonna... This should work. It should work well. Oh, man. Um, between <laughs> this episode and next, I... I'm also going to remake the lifesteal spell. 
and potentially also the fire. But I also have an idea for a, an upgrade for a spell we had before I <laughs> fell into the lava thanks to the blazes and thanks to my own uh, gracefulness and Minecraft skill. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think that's going to do it for today's episode, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and yeah, guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.